Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I've absolutely upped my arts and crafts skills right here because I literally have none other than a custom-made How Day and Fates booster box. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're opening up 36 packs of Paldean Fates, aka the booster box that Pokemon never put out. But here is the rule, since there are so many shining Pokemon throughout this set, I'm honestly exhausted just looking through the ETB checklist, I thought if we manage to pull 5 or more shiny Pokemon throughout this opening today, That'll activate the giveaway where I'm going to give away a completely sealed brand new ETB of Paldean Fates to one person that just simply leaves a comment on today's video. Now definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you opened up Paldean Fates yet? What sort of pulls have you been getting? Are you excited for this set and are you going to try- Whoa! There's like 10,000 logos on here now. Okay, that's brand new. One from the back I think it is. Unlisted Leaf to start things off. We are already off to a fantastic start. Fridge your backs right here. Are you going to try and complete the set? Because obviously, that's what I need to do, so every card matters. Iono, good start. Curlia, let's just see what we get in our first one. D Denny, this is my first ever Paldean Fates opening. Can we get to like- Oh! No, I thought that was artwork, but it's actually just the darkness type. And we're just going to get a holo rever from. But again, I want everything because we need all those commons, uncommons, and holos to complete things. But there are so many shiny Pokemon. It really worries me because... If I'm going to get every single one of these shinies, it really depends on how many we're going to get in this booster box, and that's going to lead me to think, how many boosters do I need to open? How many trade days will I need to attend to try and knock this thing out? Well, oh, Clive! He apparently is really annoying. He's got a full art card in this set that no one wants to pull. I thought that was pretty funny. Scraggy! Natsu! And can we get something on our first one? Boom! Alright, our first EX is Paldean Clodsire. I feel like we'll start at the bottom, we'll work our way up. It's kind of like a roller coaster. Which I think then means at the end of the opening, it's going down. But, we got Clodsire EX right there. Not a bad start. Let's put you at the back. Again, first opening, we'll take anything we can get. The pull rates are pretty nuts. So, there's a particular amount of like these special uh, illustration rares and special artworks that everyone wants. Charizard, that's obviously the big hitter of the set. Everybody and their mama just wants this card. Including me, it would be amazing. But... The crazier part is, that's not the hardest card to pull. It's definitely the most expensive. Here we go, we've got a backpack. Okay, Toad School, and then... Mimikyu. There's a shiny Mimikyu I'd love to get as well. But yeah, the Charizard isn't the hardest in terms of pull rates. I think 1 in 64 boosters, which is the hardest card to pull, are any of the gold cards, which I'll hopefully have on screen right now. And then the special illustration rares, like the Charizard, or my personal chase card for the entire set, the card I want the most, and if I pulled it today, probably gonna jump out that window, straight into my paddle boat, and row my boat to New Zealand, but... The Mute EX. That is all I want. That is such a beautiful card. I never got it in Japanese, which makes me a bit sad. So hopefully, on my redemption arc, completing the whole set in English, I can get the Mew. Here we go. Oh, our first shiny! A Bolivar right there! Dude, this is awesome! Okay, this is the first time I've seen a shiny out of this set. Double hitter, double hitter. Oh, it's shiny! Poor me! This is actually really rare as well! Okay. I don't want to knock past this Pokemon, so we got one shiny, which is, we're going to have to get 6,000 of these to complete the set. But, this is also really rare. So I think it's Pormi and Palafin, I think. Oh, I might be wrong there. But there's another one, and these are like illustration rares. They're its own kind of rarity, and especially if you look at the checklist, it's its own sort of section. This is awesome, and I love that there's all these Pormis right here, and one shiny one. This is actually going to be a really fun day. I'm so excited, guys. I haven't actually been this pumped up since, like, 151, I think. Um, with Paradox Rift, that was really good fun, but it was such a big set, and it kind of scared me a little bit because I knew that no matter how much I opened... Oh, this is such a painful card. I hate this card. If you're playing competitively... Oh, I hate playing against it. If they've got a certain type of deck, it sucks. Okay, Charmeleon. Oh, my gosh! Raichu, this actually held good value because the Pikachu's worth a fortune as well. Can we just do a quick count? Raichu, poor me, a Bolivar. We already have three. Are you kidding me? Two more, and I guess I'm giving away an ETB to someone that leaves a comment. So, if I were you, I'd start drafting up the world's best comment because I've only got one to give away today. But click subscribe because uh, I think we're going to do a lot more of these Paldan Fates openings to try and hit a complete set. Come on, full light card would be awesome. Mew EX, I couldn't even put into words if I could get that. 
Ooh, I reckon these full arts actually might be a bit more tricky than I think to get. And it does worry me that if the gold cards are one in 62 packs, 64 packs, that's like, these are only, a whole booster box is 36. So we have to open two booster boxes to just get one of the gold cards. And then if the Charizard's about one in 58, one in 60, again, we'll have to open two of these boxes to get one Charizard. And there's multiple of those special illustration rares. Oh no, here we go, Lapras, Annihilate. It's okay. Do I do, hmm. You know what, I might actually try and build the binder tonight as well and show you guys what it looks like after you open an entire booster box of the set. How much of the regular like commons, uncommons and holy cards are actually complete in the binder? Because I'm very curious. It's funny that they never release booster boxes, these holiday sets, but I think they're always the perfect amount to try and open up because then you can go from here and start trading away the doubles. Take it to trade days. What do we got here? Oh, a nice Charizard EX! And I love this because you can make the meanest Pokemon card deck with Charizard EX. Let me just say, Burning Darkness is the attack you want to play with. Yo, we pulled a Charizard! It's not shining. Calm down, little Timmy. It's not going to go towards our counter. But, number one, Charizard pull, Terra. And number two, very playable. Especially if you're running a Charizard deck. So let's put that to the side. There's the code cards, by the way. I'm going to be Santa Claus today and give away every single code card. Fire type, we'll need that. Paldean Student, that's another good full art card we can try and aim for. And I also want to ask a question, Charmeleon. Oh, Klefki Shiny, added on to the total. Is there something else behind it though? Nah, it's going to be a Technical Machine and Cyclozar. That's okay. Klefki Shiny as well. They've done a good job. I like this texture. Okay, look at this though, 159, so it's a secret rare out of the regular set, which is 91. Holy Aunt Jemima. But I want to ask you a question, maybe this could be your comment that you leave below. I want everyone to think about this, alright? What was your first ever shiny you caught in a Pokemon game? It could be Pokemon Go, because I know that's probably the most common place you're going to find one. But if you've got one prior to Pokemon Go, I'm curious what it was. Maybe you got really lucky and got it in a very early game. That wasn't the case for me. My first ever one was uh, Let's Go Pikachu, which might be a bit embarrassing. But that was my first ever time because I knew how to Shining Hunt. I did it on camera, and I caught a Shiny Psyduck. It was blue, and it was awesome. That was my first ever Shiny I ever got. Goldango, shout out. Armor Rouge. Put you to the side. So yeah, I think I've got a bit of a soft spot for that blue neon uh, Psyduck. I really like the way he looks. And I'm curious what your first ever shiny encounter was. And did you like lose it? Maybe you got like, because I think I definitely saw a shiny pointed at once with the blue flame. Loved it, but I lost one. So I think you remember the ones you lose just as much. Professor's research. And there we go. Paldean students is our first full up pull. I really do like these uh, old trainer sort of Pokemon cards. And this looks awesome. It's not only like a really pretty artwork Pokemon card, it's actually a card that's really deep into the set. It is 130 cards deep into the secret rare section. I don't know why they even bothered making those uh, shining Pokemon secret rares. It's just oh, it's so crazy. Anyway, how you get 36 packs of Paldean Fates? I know what you're thinking. Ando, did you call up the Pokemon company? They made you a special box. Oh, it's our first one. Come on. It's a shiny Wigglytuff EX Fuller card. And we got a Noibat and Magmortal again. But look at that. Oh, he doesn't even look shiny. Maybe it's like the eyes, they're really green. That literally unlocks the giveaway. So anyone that leaves a comment now, you're going in the running to win a sealed Paldean Fates ETB. I'm going to pick one person, ship it out to you. You can live anywhere in the world. It's all for free. Good luck. Leave a comment. Thank you so much, Wigglytuff EX Fuller card for providing the giveaway and looking awesome. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, and we haven't doubled up on anything too crazy yet. We're just pulling a good cross section of everything. Okay, put you there, go one from the back, swing it around. I reckon we might have another one more. Okay, Fridgey backs, D Denny. I reckon there's just one more technical machine. Grap locked, backpack. Come on, Swoobat. Oh, okay, Esperatha right there, EX. And I think that's the, uh, look at that, Terraform with the texture on it. I think I pulled this one, I opened up a Shining Treasures EX box in Japanese. That was a really, really common one, I think. Okay, let's keep it moving. We're getting, as I said, good stuff. So we get the Terraforms, we're getting our Shining Full Arts. I would love a couple of like, oh, I wanna say special illustration rares, but the, as again, the pull rates are so shocking. 
gold card would be sick to see because apparently the gold card the way they've done it in the set come oh my goodness out of nowhere another one this time shiny pidgeot ex i always love pidgeot especially since that first movie where you saw pidgeot carrying the trainers over the ocean i thought that was awesome there's the codes if someone gets a charizard on those code cards i am begging you to send me a screenshot rare candy very very handy pokemon card in the competitive scene this artwork on this Moonlit Hill, I really enjoy for a trainer, for a stadium actually. Can we do something here? Woobat, got the Wooper. Oh, what? It's the other Paldean students. What are the chances? Nevertheless, we'll take it. It's okay. We need both of them. I just thought that was pretty weird. I just think it's weird because of how many rares there are in the set. It just doesn't make sense for any coincidences to happen. There are just too many shining Pokemon to get in the way of that. There isn't a ridiculous amount of full art shining Pokemon though. It's just those baby types. Oh, Pikachu's in the set as regular as well. Nice. Curlia, Gengar. Ooh, we got something here. Fido. And Nimona. And an Executor. Oh, maybe we'll have to clean up the set in just a second. But we've almost finished the left hand side. And there's not a great deal left on the right hand side either. This is a lot of fun. Just imagine we hit something big. And I think we probably can. If we really just believe in the heart of the cards, like Yami Yugi always says, Nest Ball, Grap Locked, <gasps> Paldean Wooper is a Shining as well! And we got Shimeko and Annihilate. Look at that, Paldean Wooper. I love these baby Shinies. They're all really, really cute. I saw some really nice fan art. Someone made a Shining Baby Snorlax card. It looked awesome. Some of you guys are so talented in making custom cards. I love looking through them. Oh, there's a big one! Was it gold? I think it was gold. Charmander, D. Denny, Nimona, Swoobat, Moonlit Hill, Camerupt. Hold on to your pants. Ah! Oh, we got Maridon EX gold card! That is fantastic! The ratio is 1 in 62 packs, and we go and get it. <laughs> with like what not even 36 yet I don't know how many that is 20 so like you can see this almost looks glossy and it does feel a little bit but that's all embossed there so you can feel the embossing throughout Maridon but you can see in the camera it's all sparkly through here as well I don't want to call it early but this is an absolutely epic opening Maridon EX full art card uh four packs to go on this side and then we just got one side to open Okay, we're already doing a giveaway. I don't think I can get too much better than this. Bunch of shinies, gold card, giveaway, 36 packs, aka a booster box, Ionu. It would be cool to pull the Ionu trainer card. But again, that is a very, very rare card. But it'd be cool to pull actually another trainer. Then we pulled three full art trainers out of one box. Just as nuts too, I guess. Oh, ah, uh, oh! Okay, I was gonna say unlisted leaf energy, but I reckon there's something else at the back, Cotney. Pineco, can we do a Don Fan? I'm not confident. Ooh, tides. Okay, okay, okay. Ray Candy. Oh, Great Tusk EX. All right, we're working through it. Got the Ancient Pokemon too. Great Tusk EX. You go at the back. We are racking and stacking pulls right now. I almost think. Yeah, we're gonna have to need to do a binder recap at the end because there are so many hits throughout this one box. I am very curious. How much of a set does this complete? Rolts, Gengar. Come on. Oh, Shiny Pineco. And Gimme Ghoul and Exato. We'll take Shiny Pineco. This is also a bit of a refresher course on like, what does the Pokemon look like when it's shiny? Because sometimes I feel like I remember, I'm like, oh, it's blue or green. Golden Pineco. Definitely didn't remember that one. I do love that Shining variant. Shiny Pokemon, they're just like, I don't know. I've never studied them. I just find them so interesting, so cool. But I never memorize like what they look like shiny. Unless I'm like hunting for it because it's just drilled into my brain. <laughs> AKA the Psyduck or the Ponida. Um, I've hunted for shining Dragonite before because I love Dragonite's lime green shiny form. Vampy! Oh, there we go! The other shining card to go perfectly with the one we got before. Oh, it's Ray for Room. That's okay. Wug Trio! Oh, I like that. Wug Trio is actually a boss. I do love a good Wug Trio card. What do you guys think? That's a really, really nice way to end it right before I clean up the set. So let me get rid of all these cards and then we're going to finish off with this little stack right here that hopefully we can pull the Charizard or Mew EX card. All right, little Timmy, let's put you to the side. Actually, I do like my custom-made booster box, but it does reveal how dodgy it is. This is it. We're going to work through our stack. I do enjoy the pack art as well. Probably just didn't comment on it because... 
feel like if you're in America, you've seen a whole bunch of these openings before, but it's just come out in Australia, which is really, really awesome. Okay, so we got the fire type, Nimona, Charmander, Rare Candy, Frigibax, Tentacle Machine, one more shiny, Armor Rouge. That's all right. Again, how cool is this? It reminds me, I don't know. It gives me it be like Disney vibes or something. The Pokemon are really 3D animated. They're really shiny in your face. Metal type, Mime Jr. Got a Barboach, Lechonk, Ionu, Camerupt, Electric Generator. Still get flashbacks from playing that deck. And a Paldean Clodsire. Our first double, I think. Our first EX double. I did think this would happen, and I'm guessing actually that makes sense. Because in the regular set, there's not heaps to go around. Just glad we didn't get a double in the Shining. Rolts, Toad School. Here we go, Lantern, Moonlit Hill, Don Fan, Ghastly, Mr... Oh, not Mr. Mime, it's Mime Jr. and Magmortor. Oh, we're gonna get... We're gonna go through this way too fast. Love the little artwork here. But they all seem a bit... Da like, they seem like they're recycled card, almost. But I'm not mad at that. If it is recycled card, awesome. Just notice a lot of black spots on the code cards. Clive, we haven't pulled any annoying Clive cards. <gasps> yeah, it's Palafin! That's what I thought! Right you again. Yeah, so we got all three. I reckon there's only three. The Wog Trio, Palafin, and was it Poor Me? Yeah, I think that's it. We've, what? We pulled all three. As I said, I'm really, really happy with today's opening and getting the, I think the surprise hit for me was that Raichu shiny. I really like the way that looks. Come on, let's all channel the energy into a Mew EX. Just picture if I can get the Mew. Oh my gosh, I would scream. I hate, I really do pray. Are you joking? Are you joking? That just shows how we had two ETBs all jumbled up. Holy smokes. All right. Double up on the Palafin and Annihilate. Yeah, we just need to channel all the energy into getting that Mew EX. For once, Charizard's really on the back burner. I have bigger and better priorities. And I really want that to be a card that I pull over trading for. But I do have a trade day this weekend. So if I don't pull it here... Oh, nice! I didn't know Shining Scissor was in this. He looks like that's literally the color of a grape. This is Grape Scissor right here. Feels like we got a really good nest of Shining Pokemon. I love that. Oh, that is sick. Yeah, I would definitely recommend. Go pick up one of these uh, ETBs. Go pick up even a three pack. If you're doing shopping, grocery shopping, get like three boosters. This is a fun set. Scraggy and Gold Dango. Oh no, I'm like down to six packs. Oh, please let Mew be the card that I can pull. Ah, uh, maybe I'll go to the trade day this weekend and try to trade for it. And then if I pull it, I pull it. Don Fan. That Charizard does worry me a bit though. I have a feeling that we pulled our gold card and that's like tick the box for our 1 in 60 pull right there. There's the code. Swing you round. Unlisted Leaf. Vroom! We got Magma. <laughs> Nimona, Curlia, Graplocked, Nimona's Backpack, Gruffy, and Nimona's Backpack again, and Professor's Research. Look at that. Discard your hand and draw seven. Very clutch card, too. I gotta say, we're doing such a good job of getting these Shinings right now. Look at the recap. It's so chonky. That's everything we've got out of one booster box worth. That is far and, like, by miles ahead of a regular booster box opening. This is the fourth to last one. We only have four packs remaining, and I've opened a Paldean Fates booster box. I'm getting way too excited. Alright, <laughs> rip that one. So hardcore. Fighting, Charmander, please be a sign. Frigibax, Pineco, Electric Generator, Technical Machine, Natsu. Okay. Third to go. There you guys go. And let's do this thing. Swing it around. Darkness Dive, Flittle. Pikachu, Chen Xiao, Don Fan, Electric Generator, which we seem to have so many of. Oi Gloned right there as our shiny. That is the most vibrant Barbie pink that I've ever seen. Oh, nice. These must be comp more common than I thought. I thought these were a lot more rare. What is our shiny counter at the moment? Perfume Press and Finest Selection. Okay, these doubles are good too. So I'll take those to trade day. And hopefully uh, Palafin or Poor Me are like sought after ones. That would be the best. This is the second to last one, though. i got to give you a heads up. I've almost run through my whole luck, and that's okay. It just means if this video gets over a thousand likes, I will return with an even bigger and crazier opening to see how much damage and how much of the set we can actually complete. Oh, that's terrible for the second to last pack. Let's hope Pikachu, he's looking so cute and innocent, but I know deep down all he wants is my money so that he can go give me more Pokemon boosters. 
Open the doors. Swing this one around. And I hope that's the most magical code card you've ever redeemed for this set as we swing it around. Fighting type. Shimeko. Ghastly. Yummity, yummity, yummity. I want a Mew. I want a Mew EX. Please. Ionu. That would be nice too. Mimi. Oh, not Mimikyu. Mime Jr. Lechonk. And an Executor to finish off our booster box. Oh my goodness me, ladies and gentlemen. Just make sure you strap in because I'm about to explain the most wild recap of all time. So, we've actually almost done it. We did a majority of the main set by opening up just one booster box. I kid you not, the main set itself, it's only 91 cards big. And I reckon in total, we're probably only missing around 10 cards out of that main set. As you can see, there's probably like one or two holes in each sort of page. And the last card of the set is an Ultra Ball, which I'm surprised I didn't get. But besides that, we've got all of the main set. But it's when we get into the secret rares, there is 154 secret rares for us to try and get, and a majority of them are these shining Pokemon. And that does mean the total cards in the whole set, we've got to get 245 cards. It is just bananas. All that we're hunting for are these shining Pokemon. So I want to know everyone's sort of strategy right now. You can see the hits we got. We got a lot of shining cards, but we started to double up a fair bit at the end. So what's the go? I still can't believe, by the way, the fact we got both of the trainers up here. Like, what are the chances of getting both the friends? But then also a gold card? I'm super happy with the pulls today, but I need to know strategies. Do we go and open like a hundred boosts of the set? Just see how much we can do? Or should I go straight to a trade day, see what I can trade for? How are we going to finish Paldean Fates? Everyone leave a comment. Good luck with the giveaway. Until the next opening, I'll see you then. Pfft.